Hey guys, I am back to give you an update on how I did in my first month in the Grow Your Dough Challenge with Wealth Hacker Jeff Rose. So I'm going to jump into my Betterment account to give you an idea of how my $1,000 investment is going. Hey, it's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel for all things millennial money and debt free living. If you're interested in living a debt free life, you want to get rid of those debt payments, stick around and hit subscribe. I have a bunch of debt free and budgeting advice for you guys on the channel. And today I'm going to be talking about how you can grow your dough on Betterment. This is a new platform that I just started using particularly for this challenge and I have to say I'm quite pleased with the results so far. So let's jump into my Betterment account and take a look. Okay, we're going to get logged in here and what I like about Betterment is they um, make it pretty easy to log in and Everything seems like really simple to understand so far. So a quick look um, upon the dashboard entering. I have grown this account as of today, $71.66. So that's basically one month's worth of performance. So I'm actually gonna head over to general investing and then I'm going to click on performance and see how I've been doing. So it looks pretty good. I'm actually really quite pleased with how this is working out for the last 30 days or so. And you can see how it's kind of ebbed and flowed, but overall it's increased over the month. And then here it says, I have earned eight and a half percent on my investment. And I think that is Pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. And then it's got a money-weighted return. So this includes investment performance as well as deposits and withdrawals. Uh, the whole point of the challenge is to not deposit any more money into the account. But what I guess I could do is I could take the earnings from last month, this $80, and I could either reinvest it in betterment or take it and use it to grow in someplace else i just i just thought of that so i could do that might brainstorm on that for a while um you can click over on general investing on plan and see where exactly your investment will be the only thing here is for the sake of the challenge i really haven't allocated any sort of target amount set for this just for the sake of the challenge, but I would love to see this grow to $100,000 in the next 10 years. So let's see if I can set that up. So if I did 10 years at $100,000. Okay, so it's telling me that I need to shift some of my money over from stocks over to bonds and then it's telling me my short-term risk. It's entirely possible this portfolio will experience returns of negative 20% over any given year. Yikes. If you think you would not be comfortable staying the course with these possible short-term swings, feel free to turn off auto adjust and pick a lower level of risk that gives you more comfort. This is what I like about Betterment. They have this auto adjust thing set up. So this is part of the robo advising. Um, technology, but it says it smartly adjusts your pro portfolio allocation over time to keep you at your recommended moderate risk. So that's really cool. And then if I want to do this, then I could hit continue. So I think that might be something I want to do later on down the road. But I think for the year challenge, let me just like keep keep playing with it manually. I also like going over here to holdings to see exactly what I got going on. So I have 91% in stocks, 9% in bonds, and then you can see exactly how that is all allocated. And what I like, and I just found out today that you could do this fund fees per year. See how it has the percentages? It's only 0.07%, which is amazing. Um, you can actually change it to the dollar sign and see exactly how much they're charging you for each of these holdings. 80 cents for the year. I like that. 
So all in all, I'm really pleased with, with the performance so far. I think I'm just going to hold for February and see what happens and not make any changes. Although I like maybe doing something with my earnings and trying to do something with that. But I don't know, I have a good feeling about just keeping it in betterment. Let me know what you guys are up to. If Do you guys have betterment? I'm curious. If you want to try Betterment for yourself, I have an affiliate link below. If you sign up, you get 90 days managed free, and then I also get a month free. And remember, Betterment charges a 0.25% annual fee based on how much money you have. So it's actually a really cheap fee compared to other brokerage accounts or financial advisors that you might be working with right now. So remember, be sure to ask them about their expense ratio and expense fees that are associated with your account. That's key. A lot of people forget this step and don't realize how much they're paying for their investments and then they end up losing a lot of money because they were just charged a whole bunch of fees and commissions. Let me know what you guys are doing to invest this year and I'll catch you in another video.